it's time to go set up a base, I guess. Oh, well, never mind. I didn't have to call it. It's right there. Also, the circle around that thing is really wigging out. Let's see if we can find uh, Drac. This Drac seemed pretty cool. Up, Costa. I'm not getting flanked because you're distracted. Do you prefer Batarian Flood, Roman Column, or Elcor Core? Just pick one and stick to it. What? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Uh, that's a lot of E. Extract! Oh, not extract. Um, how do I mine that? That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll run into him at some point. I have a feeling he's probably on this planet for a while. Oh. Oh, that's indigenous life. That's not the dra- Is that a- Is that a crab? That's literally a crab. Those aren't crabs, though. Yeah, throw a grenade at those dumb things. Ow! Ow! Help! Shemries, it's just a crab. Wow, it exploded. That is a mammal. Savage quadruped predator that camouflages itself to sneak up on its prey. Man, we really are playing Borderlands. Hey, let me fucking scan the crab. It's soft chitin. Hmm. I'm too far from the crab. Let me scan the Shemrus. Oh, it's an insect. A very crabby looking insect. All right. Um, hello? Are there more? Oh, hello! Oh! One's gone. What do you mean one? Aren't they all gone? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to stab. I just wanted your soft... Soft kite. Give it to me! All right. Everything's fine. Get into the nomad. Fast. Oh, there's more. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Dude, there's a lot of sea here. Bonk. Give me that C. Wait, why is graphite C? What? Well, actually, I guess iron is F. -E. <laughs> I don't understand the periodic like table. Pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS: green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. Yeah. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. Oh, thanks for putting all of that pressure on me. They appear to be fighting a Aha, yeah! Is that... Drac? Is that Drac? Is that Drac? Don't worry, Drac, I'm coming! Woo! Woo! Ah, shit. Hi, Drac! Serious Garvin. Do you know this is true? I don't. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Woo! Thanks. I think I interacted with him afterwards. I feel like talking to him right now. Oh yeah, there's more. Can I speak with you, Drat? Well, I think we're too busy. <laughs> Thanks. I do my best. Chosen, come out. I really am not used to uh, to X being weapon change. I'm trying to talk with my friend. That fight was fun. You're telling me. You could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. I guess you're not stupid. Your number all wrong. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Do you want my real number, though? Love option unlocked. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work <laughs> wow, he's like, all. I'm like 30. Shut up. Good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I mean, <laughs> just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. Maybe more than a little. Outpost beacon. Here. <coughs> and we just get crushed by a building. <clears throat> this is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? I still hate the fact that I look like I drew my beard on with chalk. This judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. I bet they're gonna be torn. I knew it! Why does it always come down? Why do they- will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative. I should have known they were gonna be like on either side of the fence. Military. A military outpost. We defend our own against the cat. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. <laughs> You just took longer debating. Okay, I was like, eh, eh, but also I'm like, Cora. Hi, August Bradley and other. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Oh, I was like, wait, why did he stop talking? It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Hell yeah. Dromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. But what kind of eager are we talking about? Far from golden, but now it's defensible. Yeah, Arguing should. that choice will come. Well, later. besides talking to Dracula, that's true. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah, because you said you didn't get very far at all. Responsible. <clears throat> you proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. Yeah. 
I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I, what, wait, wait! I wouldn't go that. What does that mean? <laughs> the reality rider. You brought us time. Oh, okay. That I was like, are we not on the same side? From starving. You already have a lead on something else. The nav point from the. Oh yeah. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no yeah. one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. You're just as manipulative? I can handle myself. I don't, don't worry. I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Uh, wow. To Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until, Until then. then. Okay. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Yay! AVP cryo deployment. Per <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, I don't like her either. I liked the other guy. He was very straightforward and cool. This lady's just... Okay, so look. Look upon our work, I guess. Why am I all the way up here? It's still radiating. Excuse me. I would like to not be here. Down we go. Well. Okay, we're fine. Hey. Hey. What does it remind you of? I look a big old thingy. Sometimes you just need a big old thing. Today is today's Wednesday, right? Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I should know this. Oh, it's currently raining. It's a good thing. It, it's been raining off and on for a while. I'm just glad that I covered my scooter today. Okay. Um. Wow, when you're in blasted lands. Oh, looking through the dark portal to the burning. You know what? I think I got that far. I think I got part of the way through, like, Legion, and then that's when I stopped because my friend wasn't playing anymore, and I was like, man, fucking boring. Like, WoW was cool for me, like, up to a certain point when it was like, ah, new, 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 but then after a while, I was like, man, I don't, I don't really feel very engaged in the story or anything. Also, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, going back on the ship. Sorry, everyone. Burning Crusade, okay. I don't even remember, like, the order of them all. I just know a lot of people were like, Wrath of Lich King, best. Legion, also very good. And then afterwards, it just wasn't going very go. well. Leaving Atwell, all clear. You know, if your crusade's burning, you should probably see your doctor, especially if there's itching involved. <clears throat> Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. In the kitchen, Drac. You're just... And I'm in one of the escape pods. <laughs> More my speed. You're just in the kitchen. That's. I mean, fantastic. I'd probably hang out there too. Board. Any thoughts, Ryder? Uh, I I count at least three thoughts. Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry, that's just a little humor. Um. Next time, ask first. Now, whatever, it's cool. I mean, I already said you guys. We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, Tenna, okay. we did some amazing things. Yeah, apparently uh, Battle of Azeroth was just not well received overall. And didn't get killed. 
overcame radiation poison. And Warlords was weird times. because you had an and encampment? Confronted by Ket at every time. And then apparently it's never Once really again, like a thing killed. again. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Should we yeah. Use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked. Whoa, your Cora! <laughs> Holy moly, please don't pull an Ashley. Let's focus. Let's yeah, calm back down. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half cocked. Yeah. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. <laughs> um, actually. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. <laughs> If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. Yeah. But not humility or self And also for having like six chesticles. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi Mostly for getting physical. Along. Good meeting, everyone. For physical? Oh, no! <laughs> Lexi! Okay, anyway. I don't know, I just, it felt weird because... It's probably because I progressed through the story so quickly that, like, when I got to it, I was just kind of like, oh, well, this is, this is a thing. But, yeah. Ryder, I did like the area and all that. Uh, okay, what's wrong? Are you scarred Before after seeing Nexus, all the testicles? Populations growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting <coughs> for them. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Mm-hmm. Can't Speaking tell if they have enough water or too much. Pandaria. I, I've heard that that I was a like a, a lot here. of people really like that Only too. I saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. You're romantic. Jesus, he really... God, how horny do you have to be to go into space? Like, is horny a requirement for if space travel? Beautiful across galaxies. Because in the initiative right or horny. something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. <sighs> Maybe it was. It sounds like she cared more about what you agent. Yeah, exactly. What it's just a lot of like goodness about that. Still, and I think it was like a breath of fresh air because I mean, a lot of the other expansions were just more wowness, whereas that was like a completely different style, better. you know? Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place, even AI or an overpowered human biotic. Mm -hmm. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. It made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, Eek. even I'm my sorry, parents. Liv, but welcome they in. I hope, you're, I hope you're hanging in there. Move on, Cora. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. 
Yep. Roses. So I'm not, I, I think I'm actually going to romance Vetra because I'm immediately like, yeah. Cool tech uh, Our tech lab lady. Is an engineer's dream. Yes, please. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Yeah, it is. I need to. Where are you? Uh, I already forgot where Vetra is. Through here, I believe. Ugh. Well, at least you accepted it this time, and not your mom picking up and accepting for you, right? It's better when it's on your own terms. Uh, PB? I prefer oh. tech with more exposed bolts. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Where's PB? I hear PB. PB? PB. Hi, Gail. PB! Oh, I forget. I can't jetpack around here. <laughs> Is PB? Where, where's PB? Uh, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, wait. Wait, no, that's Liam. Well, down. Stop bugging you about work cutting your- Yeah, well, there's not a lot you can do about that when they're just being bullshit. It's Walmart, like, they're just, they're kind of assholes. I mean, you can have, uh, do they show up on the map? Well, you know what? I like the thrill of not knowing, oh, what is that? Excuse me, I am stuck on a chair. Okay, I'm fine. We're fine. <gasps> Blasto! Gox? Blast? Oxes? Alright. Whoa, look at all of those. Gun? Yeah. Uh, well, I hope it, I hope it goes okay. I mean, surgery is already bad enough. I mean, as long as they give you some medication, at least for the pain afterward. Man. Yeah, I don't, maybe, I am probably not at Vetra. Liam. XC. Drac. Sam. Uh. EB. Gil. Huh? PB, how were you, Pete? Were you talking on comms? You're all the way over there. PB. Hey, Vetra. Pretty much been sleeping it off. I gotcha. Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, well, like glad. murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> Some intel is classified. That's why it's an adventure. If we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. <coughs> I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Oh! <laughs> well, time to pull out the smooth moves. Have anyone else here with you besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, some. I mean, <laughs> do you have special. a boyfriend? Oh. You mean? You mean like? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, nothing like that. Who has time? <laughs> what about you? Uh, uh, <laughs> hopefully soon. Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic. I wasn't expecting that. Well, actually, everything I say is romantic idea almost. Of leaving everything you know for a chance of something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. <laughs> nice. You, me, and I mean, uh, yeah, you know. What's going on, Control? How are you doing today? Uh, you mentioned <laughs> back channels. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? <laughs> We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. Oh, uh, yeah. Seems predatory. It can't be that simple. Oh, Our back channels are Yeah, that is Brian Urban simple. Dictionary. How'd you join the initiative? How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? 
Short answer. A lot of things are in Urban Dictionary, and most of them I wish I didn't know. How to track them down? I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on, something big with creds behind it. Oh. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened. When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And I you couldn't find back. Ah oh, man, the exiles had time to add it. Maybe we were conned into coming here, but why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. Wait, really? I'm wow. Pick a side. I'm picking <laughs> on liars. Singular is the back channel. Yeah. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You know, the thing that makes me really mad, Control, is that actually makes sense in a way, but I also am like, man, I mean, that's kind of a shitty thing to do, too. Who needs one when there are more than one? Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Whoa! Just straight up, uh, I'm interested. Jesus, Ryder, stop. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. Yeah, it's not like or, farting uh, under the teeth. <laughs> I can see that. Cool cop, great responder. <laughs> Had a good life. But uh, I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a fair warning. Do not look up um, hot salad. I'm... Well, I mean, Tell you me can if you want to, I missed the hell out but it's of terrible, Sometimes and I wouldn't recommend it. Right? That's the thing it's does. a real thing. Mom, Joel, I learned it from Cards Joel, Against Humanity. Met on the Citadel, yeah. so it was that? It's nothing, just static. Brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical on a number of fronts. You may do, though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. Oh, thank you so much, Frisky, for the follow. I think you were, um, didn't you? You raided Des last night, right? Er, uh, Arieth? Unless I'm thinking, I know a lot of people with cosplay in their username, <laughs> so I apologize if I have you confused for someone else. I'm also just really bad with names. But uh, thankfully, that just happened last night, so I didn't have a chance to completely forget. Yeah, no, thank you so much for the follow. It's good to see you. I hope that you've been having a good day so far. Oh, uh, career history. You were a cop then, crisis response? <laughs> Couldn't have been long in either. Okay. Didn't have the patience well, it, it depends. So Sometimes I'll see people like once, and I'll remember them for like a month, and then after that, I'm just like... I'm sorry, have we met before? And then I feel terrible when people are like, hi, remember me? And I'm like, you know, I don't. But no, it's it's good to see you. Uh, oh. Up. An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Okay, uh, bye. We'll talk later. I know it. It's really funny when you're not trying to get in their pants how few options there really are for talking. Or you just make things really awkward. Is that how people climb ladders? Like, usually I just do like one arm and the other, not like that was just, that was kind of strange. I don't know about that. Okay, anyway, this is a door. Let's go find... Oh, I don't need strike team. Uh, I need to find a PB. I think PB was... Further up. Uh... Here? You're Hi. sitting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. <coughs> if I can crack this data storage box, It'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. 
Maybe that's how this you do it on spaceship. Maybe. Place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. Well, is she a Teen Titans? Maybe. Maybe. Raven, you sure look different. Put down. Should I consider you a temporary? Can we climb ladders? You don't want to get it. When we? Oh yeah, this is true. I get it. There's a specific way. It's kind of like so you do the Christian side hug, tick, right? because if you don't do the Christian Something side hug, sure. Well, then you'll get somebody pregnant. On rural I don't it's make the rules. Loving parents, just trying to. I look forward, not back, writer. What? Oh, okay. I was like, why did she just make storing noises? Field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm you actually here. learned that. That's oh wait, yeah, home. yeah. Also, hi, Pyro. Oh, you're close to what? What's up? You crave excitement. Wow, he first conversation on the ship, and I'm already ready to bone. Uh, let's uh, let's let's you slow it down. You knew because you were Vetra bored. is our lady. No, I came with someone I knew. Oh. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Oh, Ryder, that's kind of sad. Was so been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. What? Well, if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I'm going to check on food. All right, Kit. For the never been done. That's weird. Glad he doesn't want to get in my bed. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, I guess. Uh, damn. That's a universal sign. When you climb ladders weirdly, people are like, ah, it's not here for love. Uh, not buying it. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Hopefully what, not like vomit. I, I hope you scrap. can take your drinks. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're going to love by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge and I'll submit to all your questions. Okay. Remtech, huh? She drools. Oh god. <laughs> no. Yeah, buy me a drink sometime. Hey, I have stuff. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? Uh, the re <laughs> Anyone special? No, the remnant. What drew you to the remnant? Are Nearly you nice! It's evidence of a sophisticated oh, God. species no one knows it anything takes, about. Like, it doesn't get more intriguing than that. Levels 9, so uh, like... Discover. Oh, God, the experience you needed out. from, like, level and 9 to 10 is, like, all the other scale. levels combined. It takes so long. It? Who knows what advances we'll make? I don't know. That's what I was wondering, Frisky. Like, you know, I've played all other, all, like, the other three Mass Effects, but I don't remember it being this horny. Maybe I just was like, ah, well, it's fine. But no, man, apparently, if you want to travel in space, you got to be just ready to bone down whenever. The, it was one of the big drives. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of log cabins, fucking aliens, the game. Exactly. It's, oh, man. Um, your current project. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. Wow, the Nexus. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. Mm -hmm. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh... Borrowing shuttles. That sounds illegal. After that, <laughs> I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Uh, type of screw. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not Yay! Your military minded Turian. Good. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can. How old? <laughs> Everybody keeps calling him old. Gil's max of complication might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <laughs> <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's. Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? <laughs> She's a professional. She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. I'll leave you to it. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. I won't answer any of your questions, though. Yeah, I mean, and that's understandable. It's not a style that's um, 
great for everyone. I will say I do appreciate games like this um, for stream, especially just because um, it, it means that I don't have to talk nearly as much because they do all the talking for me. But I can also understand how it gets on your nerves when you're like, OK, cool. We did a mission. Next mission, please. And they're like, wait, but. You should talk with everybody first, and they all have about 10 minutes of dialogue. So, I mean, it, 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 mileage varies from person to person. I do enjoy the games, because I don't mind this kind of style. I'm very, I mean, I'm very used to playing RPGs and other things that have long-winded bits of dialogue. So, for me, it's just par for the course, but. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's just to give you more of a, I guess, a feel and more connections with the characters to see them interacting in a specific way also i haven't opened my email at all uh, i should probably check writer from dr aradana hello writer forgive the intrusion i have an issue you and sam should be able to readily resolve may assist my investigations into the scourge we can discuss it in person at the nexus labs my regards to you and sam thanks interviews <coughs> harry tevesa Freelance vid maker that could really use your help in my latest project. It's going to be historic. I hope, just like your mission. Um, meet on the Nexus. TV people again? Reminder. Um, thanks for talking. Things feel better, though they don't feel fixed yet. Remember to take time for yourself, too. Work's important, but so is time to grieve. <laughs> and just watch the story. Oh, having to input a response constantly just gets repetitive. I gotcha. Grief and fear cannot rule you. Uh, S. There's 12 leaves, verse 132. Faithful service. What? Plants are coming along. Sam and I are learning about botany together. Interesting times. Did she just spout Bible at me? Aura. Still smell that remnant vault on my armor. Lots of weird shit down there. Like my hunter's manuals would say, the razor's edge between known and unknown teaches you what can be cut away. What a manual is this? Temples of Thessia, same huge species, or spaces running water. Eh, okay, cool, whatever. Tempest tax. Hello. Tempest is a peak efficiency. Coffee dispenser. Water temp override. Jump wash queue. Put your clothing ahead of everyone else's in the auto laundry cycle. Wow. What? <coughs> Proud to be here. You're the boss. But I had to clarify. I know I said something about back channels doing what I have to do. Being on the Nexus during the bad times, a lot of us got used to ugly things. Because survival just isn't that pretty. But in the end, I'm here to help you. So if there's anything you don't like, I won't do it. Simple as that. <coughs> well, I would like to talk more about your back channels, Vetra. <clears throat> about your dad? Hmm. Oh my god, I love Drac already. Vetra told me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up, or at least a distraction. This usually helps me. <laughs> Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate images. Many are low res or watermarked. <coughs> Feeling sad? Look at gun. Yoga poses from Lexi? Oh, God. <laughs> Given the amount of high-impact cardio in your exercise routine, I recommend spending 5 to 10 minutes a day stretching to open your hips and relieve tightness in the lower back. The poses I've listed below should do nicely. Not to sound elitist, but while it's true humans invented yoga, the Asari perfected it. Oh, okay. And he picks it. I wish. Uh, excuse me. Um, like, this is a really cool email, but uh, I need... Could you show me how to do these poses with pictures of various angles of each pose? Uh, could you also be wearing those scandalously tight yoga pants? Preferably the ones that have like the little side window up the thigh. N not completely necessary, but it would definitely help motivate me. 
Currents, there, currents bow. Standing, spread your legs apart, turning one foot outwards. Take a deep breath. On exhale, bend your torso towards the outward facing foot till your hand meets your ankle. Hold for five seconds, then switch sides. Uh, to reverse embrace, lying on your back, bring your feet together until there's a diamond of negative space between your legs. I don't want negative space between my legs. It's dangerous. Palms against the floor, push your hips forward, but be careful not to overextend yourself. Wow, thanks for the tip. Matriarch's pose. Kneeling, take a deep breath. On exhale, bring both hands together to form a triangle. On the second inhale, swing arms overhead and bend forward until your torso is in between your thighs. I don't think I'm that flexible. Hold for three breaths, reaching farther with each exhale. Please let me know if you need diagrams or vids. Okay, even better. Um, videos, please. Okay, Ryder PV. Hey, Ryder. Hope it's okay. I keep the, the data core in my room, i.e. the escape pod. Guess I really just like to ponder things before bed. Best ideas come to me while I'm half asleep. Also, I saw it first. Anyway, we know for sure it's got some sort of data in it. Trick is how to get at it. Keep you updated. PV. <coughs> Help me retat. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. Facial reconstruction? Right, I've completed my analysis of the injuries you suffered on Habitat 7 during the fall. Well, both falls. Including the facial damage incurred when your helmet shattered. Those hairline subsurface fractures are mending nicely. If you want to monitor the healing process, there's a facial reconstruction suite installed in the Tempest Med Bay. Exploring harsh environments can take its toll, after all. The suite can make any desired adjustment to your appearance quickly and safely. Callow claims the suite runs on antiquated xenon. I think that's one of his little jokes. He just said, yeah, uh, I don't know. The, I mean, the scar you see on my face is, um, is one that I gave myself. Um, and I also have like weirdly green cheeks and also my uh, beard looks like children used blue chalk to draw it on, but it's fine. Also, you know what I need? I need to go to the kitchen and find my friend Drac. Oh, it's the loadout station. Where is the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? That leads to nowhere. Maybe the kitchen's on the third floor. Oh, what's this? That's a ladder. Wait, what's down here? Oh, is it just another... <coughs> Oh, the quarters. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Oh, my quarters. Your quarters. Look at my big old Zane's bed. router is down there, too. Okay, I can adjust my casual clothes. Hi, Sam. Hello, Scott. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Yeah, nice view. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my service in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Uh, quantum what? Let's say, hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum <laughs> embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. Kill. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a Sam node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In uh -huh. the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Oh, cool. Humor. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, <laughs> lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? 
Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay. Okay, try, try telling me a joke. On Here's some other planet, they're and dying. And Sam, and please, drink. we need you to, to figure out this encryption. No Sorry. I'm I telling a joke. why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. <coughs> How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Threshamores eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks, Sam. Nothing Every wrong. time we tell a shitty joke, someone dies because Sam can't talk to them. Kitchen? You're oh, hi. Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now. Many Puthans died to bring you this joke, oh. I know! Sorry. Ow. Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. Yeah. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. What? But I always <laughs> hoped to work in the field. <laughs> wow. Happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. I, you, know, you know, I've I stabbed a person or two in my lifetime. To study alien species first I may have gone to space to stab some aliens, if you know what I mean. Hyperion would be difficult, but here. Uh, what? A cat corpse for autopsy. <laughs> a, a would be better, <laughs> but I'm not, but not greedy. greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Oh, so you cared a lot about their balls. That's a very <laughs> specific topic. I I'm a specialist. Maker, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat. Want to study my anatomy then? Yeah, but exactly. We were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average life. I seem to have a uh, blood right. pooling problem, Doctor. Could you help me with it? Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. What? Whoa! Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's. That seems like a much larger than normal skeleton. Yeah, I like your edge. Uh, Thanks. Um, skill. Oh, that's a respec. Hi. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? Yeah, stowaway. She decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got connective <laughs> tissues. No, no. It's just a pheromone that all Asari emit from their mouths. That's where everything comes from, you know. Okay, let's ask you about becoming How a doctor. Did you get into medicine. My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. Um. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. Okay, I was like, how does this... They put every credit they earned into my education. Aww. Are they here in Helios? Oh, no. they're dead. Both died oh, <laughs> they're castle. dead! I'm sorry. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. <laughs> Woo! How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. <laughs> okay. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Uh, non-human crew? That's a dead Disney storyline confirmed, yeah. Whoa, I forgot, there's a lot. Vetra? Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Ah, uh, yes, next time we go to, uh... Next time we go to the Nexus, I will make sure to procure something for her to enjoy me Thanks time. It's not, <laughs> Tally's in a whole other solar, like, y oh God, she way far away. See you around. I'll let you get back to She's it. She's in a whole other nebula. If you need me. I don't remember how uh, space works, but this is supposed to happen like way, I don't even know, it's like a thousand years. So I don't know, Tally was who I, uh, yeah, no, I mean, Understandable. Tally's amazing. Everybody should hang out with Tally. Even though in the first one you can't really get get your freak on because 
germs, but on the second one, you figure things out. I was kind of sad that her whole reveal didn't really seem that significant. It was, I thought she'd look a, a little more alien. I mean, she's still cool though. I gotta figure out how to get to the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Drac? Drac, you said you were in the kitchen. I don't know where that is. Oh wait, Drac was... That's Cora. Sam, yeah. Oh, Drac, oh, he was over there. Damn it, I passed Drac up. Gotta go find Drac. She's hotter in the suit anyway. I mean this, yeah, she is pretty great. I, there's just something about that, the helmet and everything is very good. Okay. Yeah, I thought I went through that door, didn't I? <coughs> yeah. Plus, I mean, the, the suit probably has some kind of heating element too, which would also make it. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Cash, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. How old are you? <laughs> we like trouble well, here. Welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. <laughs> but she gives like good helmet, yeah. <laughs> mm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably tag. That reminds me, I did watch um. Is that all you Star Wars Episode Six the other day, and I was like, man, I forgot how silly their helmets are. Like, they're not nearly as silly as Spaceballs, because they're crazy in Spaceballs, but... Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Subtitles laughs, yeah. Easy <laughs> choice. It's like when Bad subtitles say like, around. say like music playing and there's like no music and you're like, am I deaf? Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me. I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at for one. <laughs> Your people come first. Keeping cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Well, Drac, the one thing in the station that Ryder doesn't want to immediately fuck. I gotta, I gotta look at something. Journal. Or Codex. I wanna see if it tells me just how old Drac is. Uh, journey so far. A crew like no other. After earning Nakmore Drac's respect on Eos, he'd agreed to join your squad. The Tempest is a little cozy for a Krogan, but the old timers made himself comfortable. When not regaling the crew with stories, he hangs out in the gallery, tinkering with his guns. Yeah, not immediately, but eventually. Drac, you'll learn to love me. Drac was one of the many Krogan woken from stasis to help put down a mutiny on the Nexus. When the Krogan weren't given the authority they were promised, his people left to settle Helios their own way. Drac's granddaughter Kesh stayed on the Nexus. You might say she's keeping them honest. Cool. You've socialized... A little with Korra, learning more about her background as a biotic Asari commando. What, like, that's all? I Like, <laughs> Drac has this, and Korra's like, eh. Kalo hasn't spent much time getting to know you, but he's a solid pilot regardless. Oh yeah, Liam. He's a real booster for the initiative. Lexi. PB? PB mostly keeps out of the way. She's guarded about herself, and you've pushed back a little. Korra. Human. Woman. Exactly. Vetra likes to describe herself as someone who gets things done. She seems very committed to your mission and the Pathfinder team's success. The fact that she brought her sister, Sid, with her to Andromeda might have something to do with her dedication. <laughs> Kor's role, love interest for normies. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know if you ever watched the first one, but Ashley was like one of the human love interests and Ashley is like a horrible person. <laughs> I... 
a spoiler alert. When you had to choose between her and somebody else blowing up, I went with her. Gil Brody, you left Gil to his job taking care of the Tempest systems, which seems to keep him busy. You did not try to sex him up. Suvi. Oh, Suvi has a nice uh, accent. Man, so apparently every they don't care about anyone except for Drac, which I guess makes sense. Drac's pretty cool. Let's talk to the pilots. I should. That's my room again. I don't know how to do things. Directly related to how old it, Maybe, yeah. And since Drac is the oldest, respectfully, he gets the longest profile. Okay, uh, Suvi. Hi. Let's talk. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It does have a beauty, even if it's trying to kill us. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Thanks. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Ah! Uh <laughs> oh no! Suvi! Are you hyper-religious? Uh, <laughs> you mean? I think that was one of the oh, first God. things they patched yes. in a while back. A Still power. not perfect, but I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Oh no! <laughs> this is the Ashley talk where she's like, "Do you believe in God?" And your options are, "Ah, uh, sure," or uh, "Uh, why is there just not a to each their own?" Oh, because this is just like shitting on her beliefs. And this is me being like, oh, if it means that I might be able to sleep with you, the answer is there is a God. Do you know? No, I know about the legendary edition. I bought it for a friend. I don't have it, though. How about, yeah, it was, uh, how about the, uh, you know, I kind of, I think Suvi's pretty cool, so we're not going to dash your dreams. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Okay. Wow. It's oh, no. <laughs> to meet she might be crazy I religious, though. So often. I'm sorry, as Pyra. I just. Faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. Well, as long as she doesn't as get in the way. the sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. Okay. <laughs> the more I talk to her about this, the more she sounds kind of. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus <clears throat> with the latest reports. We'll that that felt like if it went on for a few more sentences, I was joining a cult. And I, now I'm not sure about that. Well, Callow, hello. Do you believe in God? Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest. Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss yeah, was what's our vector, a Victor? preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. <laughs> I was the only one to come to Helios, though. I did mess what up, did like, you? my left eyelid, though, so I always look kind of like, ship that yeah, we did. Potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big step for one ship. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You Is my tongue blue? Hmm? Actually, oh, yes. I'm not sure. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. a god to a non-believer, T.S. Regina. still <laughs> happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Yeah, Cal is pretty nice. I, uh, I, I should be like, where's the option to look at my tongue? Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not I think it's the light Isn't shining off of something you that makes his tongue something. look blue. Not that I, I see what you're talking company, about, though. But it's lonely without other Solarians. What about Tan? Cheer up, Callow. 
we'll always have director Tim. maybe it's my beard <laughs> my beard turned my tongue blue yeah hey, but Kalos seems pretty cool I should get back to it but thank a lot you. of Solarians are like super snooty but he seems all right your father we built her for this she deserves to be in a sorry I just hands. finished a uh come by anytime. a blue raspberry um popsicle don't worry about my time. Okay, Suvi, is there more Suvi? I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. <coughs> and how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? <laughs> yes! Wow! Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> What if the remnants were big into orgy parties? We don't know much about these guys. <clears throat> Your no, no, I don't want to talk. I don't want to ask about the faith. Scourge? What do you know about the scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there, or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. Yeah, I don't know why Raspberry Ice Cream Pops blue. Oh, jeez. Those raves are so good. Um, terraforming. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. Aha. Uh -huh. Science team. I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, Andromeda scans. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. Oh, that is weird. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. Oh, the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we have. Oh, yeah, I way. forgot. We're not friendly with them at this point. <laughs> the initiative obtained data from an array in deep space, a geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and yeah, turned my, the my mint chocolate chip into beard, an yeah. FDL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested. Remember, in if you ever feel galaxy, like your though, blood sugar is getting we'll low, you can lick my beard for um for sustenance. Did Dad know? Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. We'll talk later, because I don't really want to talk about Jesus Sounds right good. now. Okay, anyway. Um, let's see. Let's talk. God, there is a lot. Of, I keep forgetting, like, in what between every mission. Um, tell me about Solarians. You know... I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40 odd years. If you just yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> that makes me so I sad. Don't repeat our old mistakes. Fire, because I'm like, oh man, she cute. Ah, oh, she have a good accent. And then those like three lines about higher power. It's just like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't like hate people who practice religion and stuff like that. There's just certain ways of talking about it where I'm like, ooh, you're like borderline uh, fanatic and that is terrifying in any aspect, not just religion. What about the Tempest? If you help to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything, by memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Is that true? Acquire? By legally and above board, of course. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Yes. Of course. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. Okay, cool. I'll let you concentrate. I just realized I've been... <laughs> you know where I'll be. 
This this like whole recording has just been me talking with people on the ship, which I guess is okay. All right, well, let's finish up this recording for now.